Ahoy and welcome back to another photo collage. Today's collage comes from my brother Salvacorn. If you have an idea of a collage you'd like to see, let me know down in the comments. Today's challenge is to build an underwater submarine. I thought for this one we'd try out Redbubble's suggested pixel width, which is 9075 by 6201. We start by cutting apart these rocks. We're going to use them for framing the sides. We bring in this eel and add him to the rock formation. Here's where things get interesting. I wanted some indication that our submarine was being propelled through the water. I thought the texture of the smokestack was interesting, so we cut it out, apply a luminosity effect at the layer, create a layer for the rocks to sandwich it, then we proceed to create patches from the smoky sky to round out the water, so that it all looks consistent. We do some spot heals and then proceed to blend them together using the healing brush tool. Now the main difference between these two tools is that the spot tool uses surrounding pixels when healing the image. However, the healing brush tool takes a specific location that you select. It's a great way to further blend something together, such as we're doing with these clouds. It almost feels uh, like painting. It's also very therapeutic. I highly recommend it. <laughs> All right, we clean up the edges of the rocks and now it's time to build our sub. I've decided for the sake of the challenge to merge three different vehicles. We take two buses and a subway rail car. We extend the back windows to be the same height as the rest, blending the top of the back roof. Probably one of the hardest parts is blending the front of the sub to the midsection. I start by working to blend the curve of the roof into the rail car. From there I start working on merging the side panel. We have the edge of the front window enter the midsection to give it a bit more of intentionality to it. Our ultimate goal is just to keep the lines moving and sort of have a flow to them. To save time, we tint the windows using just the paintbrush tool and dropping down the opacity. I add a jet engine for the vehicle's main source of propulsion and add this interesting looking gear component to make the assembly look more attached and machined. I add some fish, a jellyfish, and this manta ray. And the last big detail is that our submarine needs a driver. And what better driver than a possum? <laughs> we sandwich him between a few layers of various opacity to blend him into the dashboard. Finally, we add some bubbles. I don't find any picture that's exactly what we're looking for, so we modify the best suited one and apply it to the image. We make small adjustments to the colors, and with that we have our underwater submarine. Well, this one was uh, pretty time consuming. Part of that came down to just how much blending was needed. Not only did the submarine need to look like one machine, but with everything being underwater, you really want it to feel cohesive. 
As a reminder, if you want this collage or any of my others on a t-shirt, coffee mug, fridge magnet, etc., you can find a link to my Redbubble shop in the description below. I don't make money from YouTube, so it really helps me out. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I hope you had as much fun watching as I did making this one. I hope to see you guys in the next one, and I hope you have a groovy day.